towards becoming a more accessible country with the launch of a disability access card scheme. We're only the second country in the world to have the card, which aims to remove barriers those with a disability face. Maddie Lloyd explains. For more than a million Kiwis, outings like this can be challenging. There you go, Rachel. Hi, You're all right. But it'll soon be a lot easier thanks to the Harp Eye Access Card. The card is a really quick way to be able to say, these are the kinds of things that I need help with. Anyone with a disability can apply for one, and the aim is for every business to get on board. It's all about building relationships with people and getting them to understand the barriers that exist that they may not have thought about. There are nine possible barriers which appear as symbols on the card. They include needs such as difficulty with visual or audible information, difficulty with queuing or standing for long periods, or they may have other relevant needs that staff need to be aware of. New Zealand's just the second country in the world to get the card behind the UK. So they've got like Glastonbury Festival, um, all the big arenas in the UK are all signed up. According to British research, our hospitality sector misses out on more than $320 million annually because of people living with disabilities having access issues or poor experiences. There's a lot of money tied up, it proven through research, in the disability uh, sector. So um, if we can attract that money to New Zealand, hey, happy days. You come back to organisations and businesses that help you out, and they, in turn, make more money because they've got repeat customers from a sector of the population that may never have engaged with them before. The challenge now for businesses to sign up and help out. Maddie Lloyd, One News.